Hey, we're doing a little troubleshooting on the gas furnace today. And uh, the customer's complaint is it's just not heating up here. Initial inspection, the uh, igniter looked fine, hot surface igniter element looked fine, and the flame sensor looks pretty good. I turned the fan on just to see if the fan would come on. The fan did not come on. I have the fan turned on now. I have my little thanks to one of our, our other video buddies. I picked up his little habit here. Isn't that cool? Turn the switch. Uh, from common to G, I have uh, 28 volts on the meter, so I know it's calling there. From common to, let's see if I can do this with the camera in my hand. From common on the board to main input power, I have 124 volts, so we're good. Fan, I have nothing. M2, I have nothing. My other terminal for the blower, I have nothing. My fourth terminal for the blower, I have nothing, no voltage. So I know the board has 120 volts. I know it's getting a call from the thermostat. So that indicates to me that something's wrong on the board. One of the relays is bad or there is a bad trace. I'm gonna do one more test here in just a second though. All right, I've gone back downstairs and turned the fan off to the off position. Came back up, I've verified it on the board. Make sure I have no low voltage till the fan come on. I'm just running a little jumper from uh, my input power L1 up to the, uh, the heat terminal. And I'm gonna see if we have any fan coming on. Fan spins up. So I know the motor's good. So I know the control board is bad. We have voltage in, we have control voltage in, we have main power voltage in, we have no voltage going out to the blower motor. So we have relay issues. New board. That wasn't too difficult compared to some of the other ones that I forgot to video this week. Hey gang, well it's a little slow today. I started back uh, school yesterday, Tuesday, taking government and history. Woo! Lots of lovely reading. And I spent a lot of hours yesterday doing nothing but reading in the government class and never got to history. Never finished reading government stuff either. But anyway, um, I have a little extra time, so I figure I'd do uh, a couple videos. I have a few little things to post, nothing big. Uh, the control board one, which this is attached to, is, is kind of an interesting, quick, easy test and better than the other one. But I wanted to do uh, either a foreword or an addendum to it. I'm where I stick this about this. You remember during the summertime that I, uh, either last summer or the summer before, I had done one on wiring around a bad relay on control board to get the air conditioner working. So you had a call from the thermostat and the condenser outside kicked on but the blower motor didn't kick on. The motor, blower motor was still good something on that control board, the fan control board in the furnace assembly was bad so I just jumpered around it and wired the blower to run 24 hours a day for the next couple days until I get out there. And a number of other people have commented you can, you can put a relay off to the side to uh, you know on a Y call to kick the just the blower motor on. It's a little extra work and you have to get more stuff off the truck you know and cycle it that way which is cool for air conditioning mode but I wanted to admonish you or remind you uh, as new guys and girls who might be getting into this that this is not a permanent fix. And I have seen people try and use it as a permanent fix. I think someone else commented on one of my videos as well. They'd seen that. Um, but you don't know what's wrong with that board. And especially since this is a heating video I'm doing here and it's heating season, I want to very importantly shove this out there. Do not do this as a fix or even a temporary fix. Uh, don't wire around it. Like, it, don't assume that this is just the fan relay is bad in this case on this one. And you're a wire around it. Leave the fan on 24 hours a day for the next two days while you get aboard. And expect the heat to work properly. And it might. But here's the deal. You don't know what's wrong on the board. Um, a lot of times you can pop the board off. You can see a blown something on the back, burn spot, something obvious. But this could be something not obvious. It could be a trace or two gone. There could be a diode that's gone. A resistor that's gone. There could be some safety interlock on that furnace board. Um, and I just don't want to take the chance on coming back to find a house burned down to the ground because of, of something like that. It's just not worth the risk. Uh, so don't wire around a fan relay uh, to get the, the blower running to give them heat. If you really don't know 
for sure that's the problem. Um, so I just want to stick that out there. So this case shut off the gas and they had another unit anyway, so it's not a big deal. But uh, you have to be careful with that. And I wish I had saved some boards. I had a two or three or four. I pulled like three or four boards last week. And a couple of them, you couldn't find anything wrong with them. Like this one, I don't can't remember if I found anything or not. Two of them I had replaced. Uh, one I went out on, the induced draft motor was running. When I got there, no call from the unit at all, from the thermostat. Induced motor was running. I popped the thing off, just big blown out black spot on the back. Another one, I the same thing, black spot on the back. And just it taken some short or something. But anyway, so that's it. Just I just wanted to admonish you and remind you not to try and wire around these um, to get the thing running in heat mode. Only AC uh, would that be acceptable. And uh, the jumper that I used in this case was just a test jumper. I don't know if you was looking at it. That's not an acceptable jumper. Even in, in even in air conditioning mode, that would melt off in a couple of minutes because it was so such a thin little wire. But it was good enough just to do tests with. Anyway, now that I've got all my disclaimer junk out of the way there. Um, I will post this, and I'll see about posting another one. Thanks a lot, and good morning.